I am Dr. Jay Prakasha and I am practicing fetal medicine along with my son Dr. Patsha at Rajini Hospital Ahmedabad and I am presenting this case which is diagnosed as a Asherman syndrome. This was the case when we did the scan for the infertility we found that there is something wrong in the endometrial cavity. There is a shadow which was continuously visible. There was no reason above that which we, which may be casting a shadow. I took the transverse section and again I found that there are there is a shadow over here and there is some irregularity in the endometrial cavity. We recorded a live clip. You can see the irregularities in the cavity and when we looked at the history, she had history of two abortion of which one she had undergone DNA and in one case she had taken the termination pill that is Mifepristone and Misoprostol from the medical store directly. No DNA was done in the case of medical termination of uh, pregnancy. Uh, in fact, both were missed abortion. In the transverse section also, we can identify these irregularities and the shadows in the endometrial cavity. Uh, the 3D for me is a very wonderful tool. So I decided that let me take the 3D. That was with the addition of the color we could see the there is no flow in this area so it was not the vascular malformation and on 3d we could pick up the irregular shadows and the hypoechoic areas in the endometrial cavity and uh, the live 3d we recorded and that was it so this was confirmative that yes it, there are adhesions and there is no mass lesion in fact she's, her pregnancy was ruled out by doing the serum beta hcgs and uh, this is another 3d rendering where we had confirmed that yes it is a case of asherman syndrome and so in this case we did hysteroscopy and uh, that was the finding that we had picked up and that's the addition you can notice you can see the, the addition to train cavity and we cut it with the help of the scissor we surveyed first of the whole cavity wherever there were additions we identified and uh, we identify both the corno we cut this additions with the help of the sharp scissor and uh, make the made the cavity very clear one so after the removal of the additions we confirm the potency of both the tube by doing the bubble test so that's the way you can help and correct the infertility problem of the patient thank you